Been doing the field questions for US Simile. I have a student asking from within our Telegram group, do I recommend going through the older offline forms for 2CK? I know many of you are studying for step one. Okay, I'll address both right now. So for 2CK, I've, re I've recommended slash advised going through NBME 6 through 12. You got 6 through 8 offline, 9 through 12 online. So why not go through the earlier forms, right? One through five. There actually is no form five, by the way, for whatever fucking reason. There's one through four, they skip five, and then you've got six onward. For step one, I've recommended going through forms 20 through 30. And what about the older forms? What about like 19, 18, et cetera, okay? So can you do those forms? Should you? Uh, and I can give you some uh, solid input here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M E H L M A N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. So, what about older NBME forms for step one and two? Okay. And my response is you don't need to go through forms 19 and earlier for step one, or there is no form five for 2SK. You don't have to go through forms four and earlier simply because we have copious NBME material already. It's not that the older forms can't help, okay? I don't think the material is going to be drastically different. People like to speculate as far as material having significantly changed over time. It's really not about that, okay? It's just we have copious material to go through. I mean, forms 20 through 30 for step one, 200 questions per form, 11 forms, 2200 questions. That's a lot of material. So it's not that we couldn't go back to why not form 18 or 17. We could. I just see it as satisfactory, especially at the exam step one's pass fail. I see it as satisfactory to go through all of UWorld. You have lengthy explanations that will build the foundation you need. UWorld's extremely long, up around 4,000 questions. And then you're going to go through 20 through 30. I see that as sufficient for step one. For 2CK, You've got all the clinical mastery series forms, the NBME subject specific forms, okay? So the CMS forms, there's 44, uh, 50 questions per form, okay? Uh, I recommend two per day if at all possible. It's 22 days, about three weeks. And so you're for 2CK, you're going to do all of UWorld. You're going to do the all the clinical mastery series forms. You're going to do forms offline NBME 6 through 8. You're going to do free 120. You're going to repeat all the clinical mastery series forms. Then you're going to do NBME's 9 through 12. For step one, you're going to do all of UWorld. You're going to do NBME's 20 through 24 offline, free 120. And then you're going to go straight into the online forms, 25 through 30. That is a very, very consolidated way of articulating it. And I make note of that because it's never an umbrella plan for every student, okay? There are going to be differences, but I want you to get through UWorld. Yes, all of it for both steps one and two. And then you're going to go through all that NBME material as I talked about. It's enough content. It's sufficient content, okay? I don't think you need to venture into the uh, the oldest NBME material. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content if you like my stuff. Subscribe my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.